what's happening with Lisa. Okay, so today I thought we'd do something fun. We're going to learn to fish. We're going to learn to fly fish. And here's our fly fishing place. So we're going to be fly fishing today. And um, I should have some fun things to show you guys. So stay tuned. So yeah, I make them. So these are some lures that we're getting ready to do. They represent bugs that we can shake from the trees and look under rocks for. Haha. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, so look at the beautiful views here, man. Oh, goodness. Oh, nice. Forcing it and, and going, you know, pushing it out there. It's the rod's made with this line. It's going to cast. Okay. Um, so all we're going to do is I'm going to have you guys pick up and put down, and I'll explain the way I want you guys to cast. Um, when we're casting, we don't want to have very much wrist. It's a lot of forearm action. It's not very much wrist. Uh, when you start adding wrist into there is where you start hearing whip sounds behind you, and this is not a whip. Okay, so that means we kind of did something wrong. We either punched it or added too much wrist. Um, we want to draw a straight line in the air, which is perfect. We have a mesa behind us. Kind of see that and draw a straight line with that mesa. And you're almost going 10 and 2, you know, like you're on a cloth 10 and 2. But instead of bowing it like a speedometer, we want a straight line from 10 to 2. Um, when we go, when we cast, we're going a smooth acceleration to a stop behind us. Pause and then a smooth acceleration to a stop in front of us. So a lot of the times it sounds elementary, but I like to say back one, two, forward one, two. And that just helps me make sure I pause. If you do not pause, when you're, when you're, if you think about it, right, the fly line's not gonna do anything I tell it to do without the raw tip. It does whatever right. the raw tip says. So if I go back and forward immediately, that fly line still has to travel back and then come forward. So as one fly line's traveling back and I'm coming forward with the rod, that's when I'm going to run into tangles. My line's going to tangle on itself because I'm not pausing behind me. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, and like I said, this rod is made for this line. And you could actually cast the weight of the line itself. Um, so we're going to go back one, two, forward one, two. Back one, two, forward. You put your thumb because your finger compared to your thumb yeah. is a lot weaker. Yeah. So you're going to have your trigger finger holding that rod, that line. Because let's say we get a fish, we're, okay. we're not relying on this reel. We're going to make sure we have our finger tight that we're catching that fish. Okay. okay? So uh, keep in mind, it's not dangerous. So I don't need this hand though, right? Not at all. Not okay. at all. You can kind of hold it close. Sometimes okay. when you get in the fish, you'll do this on your line. That's your line hand. We're not going to worry about that. Okay. Okay. So back one, two. Pretty good. So touch my ear. Keep okay. your elbow. Okay. So what happened is we went a little too far back. You went like you bent it backwards. Stop a little higher. <gasps> <laughs> Perfect. And now, let's try not to punch it. I feel like you're kind of forcing it. Yeah, so I am. Let's I just am. go back. A okay. smooth acceleration to a pause. Okay. A smooth acceleration to a pause. There you go. That's looking good. <laughs> so, uh -huh. keep practicing. There you go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Down to one, two. Back one, two. Forward one, two. Perfect. That got... almost feels like I'm doing it like. And That's so, cool, though. Perfect. So, and. Uh, what we need to focus on here now is um, stop a little high on your front cast. You're kind of coming all the way down. And oh, I see. Okay. And that's not letting your line go. There. Oh, we got a breeze coming right oh, back yeah. at us. That's good. Okay. Uh, so we just need to come yep. up higher. Yep. Let's actually flip like around over here. That way we have the, oh, uh, yeah, the, okay. yeah, the wind for our helping side, right? Yes. Okay. Let's so move a little further back. About right here. Yep. Okay, so I want y'all to know that there have been reports of Sasquatch out here. So I'm going to show you all up here and see if you can see him. Look, is that Sasquatch? Where is he? Those, can you see those? Yeah. If you can see that big one and yeah. you can't see those two small ones, that's kind of the key there. 
watch that big one and then if anything comes close to it you see a rise or anything close to it set okay. the hook okay I think I need to do that too. Yeah, be careful with these banks because they do erode quite a bit. So Yeah, I don't need you falling in. Yeah, I don't need to be falling in either. <laughs> I need to you can't, can't move the Oh sorry about that. That's sorry. All right. That's all right. You can let a little more line out too for, just pull it from the reel just like that and that way it'll get a little further out for you. Okay. And then after you cast you're gonna want to point your rod tips right at those flies. So just point that rod tip right at those flies the whole time, perfect. Nice, nice, yep. We're fishing. Okay. Now we just a bit out. now we just need a fishy to cooperate yeah. with us. And look, it's going out further now. <laughs> so try to shoot it more straight across from us. So that way it'll get kind of a little further out. Okay. I know I said we're 45 to 45, but sometimes it's like it's just a different cast and stuff yeah. like that. We gotta. There you go. Nice. Of her, she doesn't like okay. to be on the video. Every now and again, she'll be on the video, but not. She doesn't. Oh wait, we'll see that could happen. Okay, I can help you out there. Where you go out into like to get salmon? Isn't that how you oh, get salmon? Yeah, a lot of fly fishing for salmon in Alaska and stuff like that. There's um, I saw that there's like a thing you can pay to do like a camping trip and a and they. Take you to the fly fishing. Oh, nice, yeah. Like oh, shoot. Here. There you go. Yeah, all right, just, yep, there you go. So about right there, you'll recast. There you go. Okay, and, and then just aim a little more across, and then that way it'll get out there a little bit. There you go. There's a lot of, yep, I was gonna say there's a lot of bugs on the water. Yeah, I see all the bugs. <laughs> those are um, pale morning duns, is what those are called. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, maybe I need to trim my body a little bit more. How you doing, love? Looks like she's doing good. Oh, she got a little tingle. Oh. All right, so that was fly fishing with what's happening with Lisa. We want to take a special thanks out there to Presley um, for, for helping us and guiding us, learning us how to, how to do some fly fishing. Um, remember, if you like what you see, hit like. Um, don't forget to hit the bell and leave a comment and tell a friend and wash your hands and be kind to one another. We'll see you soon. All right, so this is a bonus clip. Um, Presley sent us down um, to go see a place where we might be able to fish and catch some stuff. So we're going to a secret place. I don't know how secret it is, but we're um, headed that way right now uh, to go do a little bonus feature fishing. Woohoo! Okay, so we're on a search right now for a spot to go fishing. Oh wow, look how beautiful that is. And we're by a lake. What lake? Meadows. Big Meadows Reservoir. And uh, we're just looking right now. I think we're gonna go find a, a different spot. I don't know, we're just gonna look. We're looking right now. So I thought I'd take y'all looking with. But I will tell you that it is spectacularly beautiful here. Hold on. Woo! 
take a look at that. Wow. So we took a wrong turn and ended up going up a really steep hill and then turned around and came back down and the view of the reservoir is beautiful and so we wanted to kind of share that with you. Um, let me come around this little corner right here and let's see. Nope, it's still not it's there. It's on, Oh, it's going to be a longer corner, but it is beautiful. All right, so now coming around the bend, you can see what we see, little snow. Beautiful, beautiful lake. I need to bring, oh, we should get our boat out. Haha. <laughs> And then there you go. This is uh, this is the reservoir, Big Meadows Reservoir. Um, we're gonna go find a spot to fish, but not here. Now we've decided to go somewhere else. All right, so we found a spot. It's spot number ten in the Park Creek spot area of the camping. So now we're coming around, and you can see my spot right there. And I've already gotten my fishing rod ready to go. And here's the water I'm going to be dumping in. Woohoo! Bonus video.